Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be tackling my kids' playroom. Now, we do not have a basement in the rental farmhouse that we are living in, and I have to say, it's one of the things that I am most looking forward to with our new house. It's just great to have that area where kids can kind of sprawl out and play with their toys. Uh, we are always very good about having them clean up at the end of each day, but for the last couple of weeks, there's just been so much going on around here. We've been busy with house preparation things and spring activities, and so it's gotten really out of control, much worse than it normally is. And I thought that I would just do the kids a favor instead and just get it done myself. I've got about an hour before I need to pick them up from school, so I'm gonna tackle this and see how far I can get. This corner is definitely the messiest in the room and it gets that way because it is where the Kinects and Legos are played with and so they are constantly coming up with different ideas and creations in this corner. Another area in the room is where the kids play their electronics. We have a PlayStation that they use and also a couple of laptops that they share. And this area can also get pretty messy. I try to every once in a while bring a Lysol wipe and clean off the controllers and the computer mouses because I know that the kids are not going to be doing this on their own. I'm always amazed at how many things I can find underneath chairs and couches. It just seems like little toys multiply under there.
After an hour's worth of cleaning, I now have a nice tidy toy room. And you parents out there know that this room will stay clean like this for maybe a day at the most. Um, they'll be in here tonight, I'm sure, building something out of Legos. And I guess that is to be encouraged because that is, after all, what a toy room is for. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to this channel or visiting my website, arrowhillcottage.com, for more tips on creating a simple home and living an intentionally simple life.